Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Eternal, where, where we try to find eternal truths in everyday situations. So today, I want to talk about scars, how scars remind us. Now mind you, most of you who know me know that I have a skin condition where I have had scars all my life. There has not been a day of my life where I have not had an open wound somewhere on my body. So I am very familiar with scars and a lot of the discoloration that I have on my skin, which, you know, is hidden somewhat by makeup, um, but you can see pretty much everywhere else, is due to all of the scars that I've had in my life. Um, but there are two scars that are kind of important to me. They're kind of reminders. And of course, if you have a scar, it means you got hurt, okay? And you can't deny that life has a way of hurting you in different ways, and sometimes it's in a way that leaves a scar. So in my case, I have two scars that, I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna hide that kind of remind me of some really good things. Even though painful, yes, I do not deny that both of them were painful. Um, but when I see them and when I feel them, I am reminded that God can heal us from anything and that sometimes difficult situations and even wounds can serve as reminders of wonderful moments. My two scars that I uh, will talk about as reminders, as positive reminders, are number one, my C-section scar. Um, anyone who has had a C-section knows that your scar never really goes away. And even if you can't see it that much, you can still feel it. I don't know if it's just me, but when there's gonna be bad weather or there is bad weather, like my scar starts to bother me. And still to this day, if like, I don't know, my son has a way and <laughs> it's kind of ironic that it's him, has a way of always banging his head against my scar. And I remember when he was a certain age, about three years old, three, four years old, he was the perfect size to come running and just bang his head right on my C-section scar. And it was like, ah! But it was a reminder of him, his life, coming from there. So when I see my C-section scar, as a person who who uh, had my child a couple of days before I became 40. Um, it's a beautiful reminder that God gave me the chance to be a mother and to have this wonderful, special, just spiritual, amazing son. And so the scars there and it reminds me, and yes, people, C-section, oh my goodness, you know, it hurts. It hurts bad and it hurts for a long time. And so, and even afterwards, it still bothers. Um, however, this scar reminds me of one of the things that I love most in this world, and that is my son. Yes, I had to endure some pain for some time, uh, but wow, Ian, that's all I can say. Wow. There's another scar that I kind of like. Um, of course, it's not aesthetically pleasing. And of course, it's going to probably, you know, people are probably going to look at it and say, I wonder what happened to her there. Um, that I kind of like. It's kind of like a pet scar. And that's my scar that I have right here on my eyelid over here. If you ever see me up close, you'll see that I have a little jagged line scar there. And I kind of love that scar because it reminds me of what never to do and how amazing my life is and the opportunities that, that I have been given and blessed with. Because see, that scar occurred to me in Israel and we were walking down an area that was like had waterfall and then uh, it was rocks and it's it's where David was hiding with his men and so we were walking there But I made the fatal mistake. I was there with a friend 
of deciding to carry both of our cameras at the same time while we're walking on slippery rocks <laughs> with running water. So I felt myself slipping and in order to save both cameras, okay, this was in the time before like the fancy cell phones and everything. This is when you actually not only took selfies or took photos with your camera from your phone, but you always had to carry a digital camera with you. It was, they were digital cameras and they were not cheap at that time. So I had both of our cameras. I don't know why. Um, and I slipped and in order to save the cameras, bam, I hit my face against a rock. Now, I was there with a group, which drives me crazy. I don't really enjoy going with groups because you kind of have to always go where they tell you, when they tell you, and have to catch up or wait for people. But it's all good. It was a blessing from God. It was a gift from God. So I saw the group was walking, and I was like, you know what? This is not a good situation. But being like the kind of CPR person that I am and first aid person, I left the group without telling anybody and I went to the bathroom that was way down and I checked it out and I was like, mm, this needs stitches, but ain't nobody got time for that. Literally, I made a split decision choice of I'm going to live with whatever scar I have left over from this uh, tumble. And so I did. So I just like pressed on it with a napkin. So I went on my merry way with the napkin up the mountain, spring, waterfall, rocky situation. Um, and of course people were asking me, what's going on? What's, what's up? And I was like, ah, nothing, 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 nothing. And I got back to the hotel and it's like a little bit open. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to live with it. And this will be my souvenir. I'm, I'm, I don't usually buy a lot of souvenirs when I travel. Um, but this is my souvenir from Israel. <laughs> and I think the only other thing that I bought was like a communion cup. Um, but yeah, so this scar is a constant reminder. I mean, whenever I try to put on makeup, whenever I am getting ready for an activity, it's there and it reminds me. Um, that hurt really bad, but you were in Israel. You were literally walking where David walked. You walked in places where Jesus walked. You walked where it all began. And so my scars remind me, number one, that I'm fragile. Number two, that there is pain in life. But number three, that there's also healing. And some scars are not meant to be a reminder of just the hurt but also to remind us that sometimes it hurts, but then it reminds us of how good and how wonderful and how amazing our life really is. So I wanna leave you with two verses. Um, one is a promise that God gave his people that he would heal them. And I believe that this, this promise applies to us. I don't know if you have a certain area in your life where you are hurting or you feel broken or crushed or um, wounded. But I do know one thing as somebody who has lived with scars all my life and open wounds all my life. Amazingly, they do heal. Yes, they leave a mark. Yes, we remember what caused the wounds and how they hurt. But what an amazing thing to say. I once was broken. I once was wounded. But now I'm healed. And God can help us so that the healing is not just superficial, but also internal, emotional, spiritual, even psychological. Well, in Jeremiah, um, <clears throat> God tells his people, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. He's talking to his people, Israel, but he's talking to us as well. Our God is a healing God. And of course, there's Psalm 34, 8, where he says something that's so beautiful. He says he's close to the broken hearted and to those who have a crushed spirit. And he will bind up their wounds and heal them. Isn't that amazing that God would leave that written for us through David's pen that our God is a healer, 
and that he's close to those of us who have a broken heart. So it's not just a physical wound, but emotional wounds as well. And guys, once you're healed, there's always a scar left behind from healing. It's part of the process. Just use that to remind you of how faithful God has been. Sometimes the wounds that hurt us initially bring forth amazing results, like my C-section, and give us wonderful reminders of where we've been and what God has brought us through or to, like my <laughs> cut um, from Israel. So I hope that you embrace the moment you're in, whether it's maybe being at this moment suffering a wound, but hoping for healing. Maybe it's in the process of healing. Maybe it's healed. Don't forget your vulnerability, your fragility, but also God's amazing power to bring us through even the most difficult situations. And also don't forget to seek eternal truths in everyday situations. This was Nada from Everyday Eternal and I hope you have a wonderful day and keep on healing. He is your real healer. Arrivederci. Ciao. Bye. God bless you and shalom.